Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update on my No Pan Left Behind and Project Level Up projects. I did miss last month's update, so if you're excited to see what progress I've made on this project, then just keep on watching. Let's start off with Project Level Up. This project was created by Sophie Alexandra and you randomize what palette you are working on and then depending on what level you are, you have to use each shade in the palette that number of times and hit that many pans. I hope that makes sense. And oh, I forgot to mention, I combined these two projects together in one video because it's just easier for me scheduling wise, but also if I'm rolling in more than one palette or one for each project, I can kind of pick and choose and make things slightly easier for myself. I'm working on two levels at the moment, level two and level three, and then I probably will reset to level one. My level two palette is the remnants of my ColourPop Semi Precious palette. I will insert a clip of what this looked like last month and then what this looks like today. So for level two, the goal is to use each shade two times and hit two pans. As of the last update, I had used each shade twice and hit a pan in this top shade here in 23 uses. So my the last goal I need to meet is a second pan and I'm working on this shade down here. I have a goal to hit pan on it, of course, or I'm able to roll it out after I've used this shade 30 times. I am currently at 21 out of 30 uses and I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan on this shade so I'm going to aim to use it nine more times before rolling this palette out. I am getting quite burnt out on working on this palette. I'm ready to put it away. I feel like it's been lingering in my drawer for too long but I will focus and knock out nine more uses on this. My level three palette is my ColourPop Mocktail Quad. So the goal with this palette is to use every shade three times and hit three pans or use three of the shades at least 30 times. I will insert a clip of what this palette looked like last month and then what the palette is looking like today. So I feel like you're not going to be able to see that much visual progress. I'm finding this palette really hard to be motivated to reach for. I feel like I'm not creating any dips, just scuffing up the surface of the shadows a little bit. But let me go through shade by shade. As of the last update, I had used all four of my shades three times. My three focus shades are the lighter gold and the two mattes. I have used this top shade, the shade Iced, 10 times so far. And I have used both matte shades. We have Chaser and Highball. I've used both of these 14 times each. I said that very strangely. So we have 10 out of 30 up here and 14 out of 30 down here. Once again, these ColourPop palettes are so hard to hit pan on. I don't think I'm going to have pan in this palette either, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer, but I am happy it's getting quite a bit of use for me. And thankfully, this quad is really easy for me to reach for, and it goes with a lot of the other shades I'm panning. I am using it in my look today. So unfortunately, I will remain at level two and level three for now, but hopefully for the next update, I will be able to roll out my level two palette. Now we're going to hop into my No Pan Left Behind update. I have three palettes in my No Pan Left Behind section. I say palettes in quotation mark because the one that has been in the longest is actually miscellaneous singles. It was a part of my wheel and because they are severely neglected and still are honestly, they've been in this project for a long time. So it's all of my like individually potted eyeshadows that are not super shock shadows because those are in my wheel separately as well. I had 13 
miscellaneous singles in my collection. As of the last update, I had only reached for four of them so far. I will pop in the picture here. That is not very good considering they had been in for quite a few months already. Since the last update, I had reached for three more of them. So I used my Absolute New York Eye Artist shadow in the shade VIP, the NYX Prismatic shadow in the shade Girl Talk, and my Hourglass Scattered Lights glitter eyeshadow in the shade Foil. So I've now used 7 out of 13 of these eyeshadows. I finally surpassed the halfway point. Hopefully I can pick up the pace. I only have six more eyeshadows to reach for and then I can roll the wheel again and hopefully get a palette this time. While it's not as exciting for me to be reaching for these single eyeshadows, the truth of the matter is they are severely neglected in my collection and having them in this project is forcing me to at least use each of them one time, which I'm quite happy with honestly it's just a struggle to reach for them. The next palette in No Pan Left Behind is my Merry Christmas palette from Odin's Eye. The goal of course is to use each of these shades one time. I had actually no pan left behind with this palette earlier on in the year before it got randomly generated to come into this project so this palette has actually gotten quite a lot of use for me so far this year. I'm not sure if I did a graphic of what shades I had used as of last update. If I did I will pop it up on the screen. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell you which shades I've used how many times and which shades I have left. So I have now used the entire first row one time each. I have used the entire second row and three of these shades I've actually used two times each, which is surpassing my goal. On the third row here, I have used the shade Gingerbread and Poinsettia. And on the fourth row, I have used the shade Happy Ending and Santa Star. I have four more shades in this palette that I have to use. My voice is trying to disappear. I have to use Little Star, Bless, Hot Cocoa, and All Right. Surprisingly, the warmer, easier shades, actually these will go really well with my level three palette. So. A look is coming together in my mind already. This will be really easy to roll out next month as well. And then this kind of lends itself to why I have these projects together. So hopefully next update I will be rolling both of these out and then I'm going to roll in two palettes and I will be able to choose which one I want to do No Pain Left Behind and which one I want to put in Project Level Up. You get what I'm saying? Lastly, the palette rolled in most recently is my ColourPop So Very Lovely palette. This was such a great addition to my everyday makeup drawer and I'm happy to say I've officially used all of these shades at least once. Actually the only shade I've used more than once is the shade Eyelet, this matte peachy shade. I just think that color is so beautiful. I also really really love Dreamcatcher. This palette is beautiful. Once again, I had used this quite a bit before rolling it into this project, but this is the only palette rolling out today. So that means I will be using my tiny decisions wheel here to choose another palette. I don't know if I'm going to have this rule ongoing, but the last two palettes I rolled into No Pan Left Behind, I had actually already used quite a number of times previously this year and I am trying to touch all of my palettes this year so if I roll in a palette that has gotten a bit of use already I'm going to re-roll. I want a palette I haven't reached for yet. Again I don't know if that's going to be a rule forever but for right now I want a palette I haven't touched yet this year. So let's spin the wheel see what we get. I might have to check my makeup tracking spreadsheet. And of course, if it's already in a project, that's not going to help. Cosmic Serenity, I've already reached for that over 10 times this year. I'm going to re-roll. Ooh, let me see if I've used that one. 
I have not yet used that palette this year, which is honestly surprising to me. Let me go grab that and I'll show you what I got. I am back. I've gotten the palette. The wheel chose for me the Fantasy Cosmetica Druid palette. Now, if you didn't know, I am an affiliate for Fantasy Cosmetica. I do have a code that saves you money and I was sent this palette in PR. The Druid palette is one of my very favorites from the brand. And this is the perfect color story coming into fall. These grungy tones, only nine shades as well. And so this should only take me two or three uses to complete No Pan Left Behind. You guys know I'm working on so many eyeshadows, so while it should just be easy to knock this out in one month, I don't know if I can commit to that, but if I could, and rolling in three palettes next time would be very, very exciting, but I'm not making any promises. I do really love the quality of this palette. I love the grungy tones, especially the matte shades. I am very happy with this choice. It will be no problem at all to reach for every single shade once. I've already kind of shared my goals for next time, which will be finally finishing off my Merry Christmas palette, only four more shades to go, and using my level two palette, that shade I'm working on at the bottom, nine more times to meet my goal. And I would also like to reach for two or three minimum of the miscellaneous singles left that I have to use because I really just want palettes in here, but I do have some singles on my wheel for a reason such as this, and yet I'm still struggling to reach for them. But at least now I know that buying individually potted eyeshadows is not a smart choice for me. So hopefully I won't be doing that anymore. I'm really pleased with this update. I'm very happy with the palette that got rolled in and the progress I've been making. It is slow and steady in this project and I know this should be my focus on with eyeshadows. I really just need to stop putting eyeshadows in other projects that they weren't intended for. I kind of wanted this project and Project 10 Uses to be my focus, but I've ended up with eyeshadows in I think every single project I'm working on. Who's letting me do this? If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I will see you in my next one. Bye!